after surgery or radiation for head and neck cancer, it may be common to feel tightness or weakness on the side that you had surgery. Things like turning your head to look over your shoulder or opening your mouth really wide to eat or even trying to raise your arm up to get something from the cupboard used to never be really challenging, but all of a sudden got really difficult. My name is Kelly. I'm an oncology physical therapist as well as certified lymphedema therapist. And today in this video, I'm going to share the best exercises to do after head and neck cancer surgery or radiation for the shoulder, neck, and jaw motion. This is part one of a two-part series, and in this second video, I'm going to share exercises specifically for the mouth and the tongue and for swallowing. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe down below to see when that video comes out. You can also check out our website at cancerrehabpt.com for more resources, and you can follow along with us on Instagram for more related content. These are exercises that are generally safe to do once all incisions are fully healed, but it's always important that someone gets clearance from their doctor for more personalized safety clearance and guidance. It may take a few months for some people to get stronger, and so doing exercises consistently one to two times a day for multiple months may be needed. So the first exercises we're gonna do are for the neck. The first one we're gonna do is gently to stretch out the sides of the neck. We're gonna take the ear and gently bring it down towards the shoulder. We're gonna go until we feel a mild stretch on the side of the neck. If we need a little bit more, we'll take our hand on the top of the head and gently pull the head down further. Again, keeping it a really nice mild stretch across the neck. Or we can take the hand and put it on the other shoulder and gently press down. But we're only gonna hold for about five to 10 seconds and then we're gonna gently come up. And we can do the same thing on the other side. So ear to the shoulder, till you feel a gentle stretch. And you can give a little over pressure from the head or pressing down on the shoulder as needed for five to 10 seconds, and then gently relax. And we'll do each of those about two or three times. So the first exercises we're gonna do are for the neck. The first one we're gonna do is gently to stretch out the sides of the neck. We're gonna take the ear and gently bring it down towards the shoulder. We're gonna go until we feel a mild stretch on the side of the neck. If we need a little bit more, we'll take our hand on the top of the head and gently pull the head down further. Again, keeping it a really nice mild stretch across the neck. Or we can take the hand and put it on the other shoulder and gently press down. But we're only gonna hold for about five to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna gently come up. And we can do the same thing on the other side. So ear to the shoulder so you feel a gentle stretch and you can give a little over pressure from the head or pressing down on the shoulder as needed for five to 10 seconds and then gently relax. And we'll do each of those about two or three times. The next exercise that we're gonna do is for rotation of the neck. So all we're gonna do is try to turn and look over our shoulder till we feel a mild stretch. So if we turn our head, you'll feel a stretch across the front and you're gonna hold that for five to 10 seconds. And then back, and the same thing on the other side. If we want a little bit of an overpressure, same thing, we can kind of hold right in front of the chin or forehead and gently pull over further. Holding for five to 10 seconds, and then coming back. The next exercise is gently to tuck the chin down. I'm gonna turn so you can see, so we're gonna pull the chin down, and then we're gonna roll and look down. This will be stretching out the back of the neck, but make sure we're tucking the chin first and rolling and holding that for five to 10 seconds. And we'll eat, do each of those two or three times. And then lastly for the neck, what we'll do is we'll put ear to the shoulder. And then what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna look up by rotating up and you'll feel a little bit stronger stretch in the neck for a different muscle of the neck that's typically affected from radiation and surgery. And then we'll come back to the middle, and so the same thing. So ear to the shoulder first, and then start to turn and look up. And you'll feel it on that other side, nice and gentle, keep it nice and mild for five to 10 seconds. And then gently come out and back to the middle. 
So next we're gonna do some jaw exercises to open up the jaw as much as possible. We call this joint back here the TMJ joint and sometimes that can be affected by surgery and radiation which makes it really difficult to open up the mouth for talking and chewing and eating. So the first thing we're gonna do is you can try to open the bottom jaw as wide as we can for a stretch. Two ways to do this, we can put the tongue on the roof of the mouth or against the front of the teeth and then open up the jaw as wide as we can. So it'll look like this. Holding for five to 10 seconds. Again, trying to keep the tongue on the roof of the mouth. The other way to do it is actually to use clean hands or gloved hands and gently pull the jaw down. Now you do want to get clearance for this because you want to make sure that nothing is too fragile or dangerous to pull on after something like radiation. But it looks like this. And we're actually holding for 5 to 10 seconds and doing that 10 to 15 times. The next thing with the jaw is we want to move it side to side and so we're just going to shift it to the left holding for five seconds, shifting to the right holding for five seconds. So it looks like this. And then back and forth 10 to 15 times, again holding for about five seconds. And then the last one we're gonna do with the jaw is to protrude it outward. So you look at the bottom of the jaw, we're gonna to try to press it forwards. So from the side, it looks like this. Holding for about five seconds for each of those, and again, doing about 10 to 15 times. Next, we're gonna go through scapular or shoulder blade exercises. It is common for some individuals to get what we call scapular winging, where there's a dysfunction or weakness around the shoulder blade area. So these exercises are specifically meant to strengthen that area, which will then improve shoulder range of motion. So the next exercise is a wall side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place our forearms on the wall and we're going to punch away from our back, so from our body. So we're kind of punching away and then we're gonna slide up the wall and back down, keeping ourselves in that punch position. So it looks like this. And we'll do that 10 to 15 times. So the next exercise is a scapular punch or a ceiling punch. We're gonna start by laying on our backs. We're gonna put our arm up towards the ceiling with our elbow straight. From there, we're gonna punch up towards the ceiling, exaggerating that punch, and then we're gonna go ahead and relax our shoulder blade back down, keeping our elbow straight, and then punch up again. And we're gonna do that 10 to 15 times. So those are a few of the exercises for shoulder, neck, and jaw movements after head, neck, cancer, surgery, or radiation. Again, be on the lookout by subscribing down below for the next video for exercises for the tongue, the mouth, and for swallowing. And you can also comment down below if there's any other topics that you want to see in future videos. But I hope you all found this video helpful, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone.